I think we can both agree what an amazing event it was on today. We had some great speakers. You must obviously be pleased with that. I'm absolutely thrilled. Um, it did everything that we'd hoped it would do. Um, the speakers were fantastic. That spirit of collaboration that we've managed to engender over the region and within the City of Southampton through our City of Culture bid, we're absolutely thrilled. And um, yes, it's been a great day, very inspiring and obviously lots more to do. Well, from listening to you today, you're obviously quite passionate um, about the region and what it has to offer. Um, what drives you to kind of oversee it and manage the bid as a whole? Well, I think the bid process really plays to my experience, you know, over 25 years working in culture and the creative industries. And that uh, international perspective, but also the local perspective, working with communities, the development of young people, development of artists, and really the development of um, how a place tells its story and how really it builds on its strengths and challenges its weaknesses. So um, it brings all that together. But for me, Southampton is where I bring my children shopping. They play sport in Southampton. So to be able to bring those skills to something on my own doorstep has been an absolute joy and um, that's why I've got everything crossed that we're going to be successful in our UK City of Culture bid. I best of luck to you. Great, you answered everything there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much and thanks for supporting us today. It's been great working with you. Okay, best of luck to you. Thank you. Adja, I've got to say, you can tell that we're both presenters. We're suited and booted for the event, aren't we? You've been the glue today, but tell me what an amazing event it was and it really helped, obviously, in terms of creative industry and the region as a whole. Yeah, fantastic suit, by the way, Gabby. Yeah, very good. Um, 10 out of 10. Um, so, I mean, look, I think, I think with events like this that are so rich with content, it's all about the ingredients and the planning. And I think the planning behind it has been so meticulous. And you've got, you know, we've had experts from different sectors, from across the creative industries, academia, the arts, etc. And I think also these conversations about marrying different sectors together, like technology and heritage, you know, old sectors that have, you know, um, stood the test of time. And in, in, in many respects, what COVID has done is it's um, accelerated our relationship with technology without forgetting all of these very solid sectors that have existed for centuries. So it's been a pleasure. I mean, I've, I've really enjoyed, um, you know, picking out some takeaways from, you know, and there's so much, you know, how much do you um, pick out and how much do you share? But just enough just to kind of remind us that behind each of the people that have joined us today is this kind of um, passion, uh, this, this, this depth of experience. And I think by co-designing, by cooperating, uh, by co-creating, you know, the best ideas come. And I think if anything, over, over the last two years, what we've seen and what we will see mid, you know, going into this kind of mid-decade point in 2025 is much more of a thirst and understanding for working together. Okay. What are you most looking forward to going forward then? Uh, to winning. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we don't do second place here, do no, we? No, we don't. No. Everyone's, I mean, like, you know, yes, we've all grown up kind of with that mantra of everyone's a winner. But I think, I, think, I think it'll mean a lot. But I think also, you know, it's really important, you know, sort of humour aside, it's the taking part. You know, to get this far, you know, uh, to be alongside some brilliant cities. You know, we have in the United Kingdom, you know, such brilliant creativity and if we use that mantra that the ideas are our currency you know look what we've been sort of exporting to the rest of the world you know and if we can just harness that for mid-decade winning would be great but taking part is even better okay well it's all about the winning for me but anyway we'll take that as well uh, thank you for everyone for tuning in today thanks to you Ajay as well um obviously for your work up there um but yeah thank you everyone for getting involved and if you would like to get involved further we do have our social channels on twitter instagram and that would be solent lep and um yeah you could hashtag us and get involved but that's if you want a pathway into the creative industry like us too thank you so much and thanks for tuning in <laughs>